Hello, church family. This is Stacy, and I just wanted to say, hey, I miss each and every one of your faces, and I hope you're happy and healthy during this crazy time. I was asked to do this little quick blurb on YouTube. It's my first ever YouTube video, but I was asked, um, what has God been saying to me during the past several weeks of social distancing? Our family has been doing the quarantine, for lack of a better term, and social distancing, except for a few trips up to my office and then my husband occasionally to his. Um, so we've had a lot of quality time, my husband and three boys and myself. My first reply that I really think has been hitting home to me during this time is how much time we as so busy Americans spend on so many other activities and in our life we would get really busy doing kids sports movies television shows dinners with friends that sort of stuff um, and we would say our prayers around the dinner table it wasn't a lot of Bible reading if I'm gonna be truly honest and frank and the last several weeks I have really realized how much influence my husband and I have for our children um, and so what I feel like God's been talking to me is get in the word every day and not just pull up the Bible app on your phone where it's easy to be distracted by a notification from your friend who wants to text but to be by yourself with a pen with a highlighter maybe a journal if that's something you like to do and really take time to spend quality moments with God, reading his word, seeing what he has to say. During this homeschool, if you could see the table that where I'm at right now, it's our dining room table, and it is covered with everything from geometry to cursive handwriting lessons for the boys, ranging from ninth grade to third grade. Um, during our school days, I have asked each kid to block out 30 minutes of time for them to go to their bedrooms or the deck, patio, hammock, somewhere, and spend time with their physical Bible. Put down the phones, put down any sort of distraction, start it with prayer. It's such an important time to do that, to get back in the Word. And as a mom, I need to start in the household. And so that is something that we've really started implementing and doing, and I'm proud of that. And I think um, it's reflecting in maybe attitudes and behaviors. People can be less snippy. I feel like God and the Holy Spirit are moving in um, everybody in our family, and that's a great thing. Uh, Bible verse, I'm going to read it just so I don't mess it up. 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness that the man of God may be complete and equipped for every good work. Every good work we're doing right now should begin with God. Let's use this time of social distancing and of quarantine to get back to the basics, to get back to a personal relationship with God. If that's been something that's put on the back burner for you, as so many of us, get back to that. Take time daily to pray, take time daily to have conversations with other people in your household. And if you're stuck by yourselves, call a friend, call a family member, and talk about it. It's so important. Um, we as a country right now, we need to apologize. We need to repent um, for the ways that we have turned from him. So many different times in history, <laughs> the Bible comes into play. Um, and right now, this could be a birth pain of the Bible. I am not sure, um, but it's something to think about. Take time to repent. Take time to perhaps change your heart, adjust your heart, adjust your attitude, and share the gospel. Share the gospel with your neighbors, with your friends, those who believe and those who don't. It's a great time to get back to the basics. So that's my takeaway from this. Um, God doesn't come and speak directly to me where I hear his voice, but I do hear 
um, in my gut. I feel, think I feel the Holy Spirit moving. Um, it's time, Christians. Let's do that. Let's be disciples. Let's start with our families and then spread out from there. Go share the word. God bless each of you. I hope you're happy, healthy, and hope to see you soon.